I'd like to call the seventh meeting of the 2015-2016 Common Council to order. Would the clerk please read the quote for the day? Thank you, Mayor. Personality is who we are and what we do when everybody's watching. Character is, is who we are and what we do when nobody is watching. Thank you. Uh, would the clerk please call the roll for attendance? There are 13 present. And let's see, Alderman uh, Van Akron, uh, Alderman Thiel uh, are, are excused, and we expect Alderman Vanderweel shortly. Next, we'll go on to the Pledge of Allegiance. Tonight, I have a few guests from Boy Scout Troop 801. I'd like the gentlemen to step forward, and they'll lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. That's Ben Hansen, Zach Butler, and Luke Kress. Thanks for coming tonight. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Next item on the agenda is the approval of minutes from our last meeting. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Move to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. There are no resignations or no appointments this evening, so we'll go down to a presentation on the King Park Playground sponsorship, a presentation from U.S. Bank and Sheboygan Neighborhood Pride. I'd like Joe Curlin uh, to please step up and give us a, a little bit of a synopsis of this project, and then if Chris Gravener and Diane Walensky would also join them up here. Thank you, Mayor. Cheers. About uh, eight, eight months ago, uh, we believe, uh, Chris from U.S. Bank approached the city and said, um, you know, uh, U.S. Bank would really like to, to find a community project. And um, he worked with, with Chad from the planning office, and, and Chad contacted myself. And, and we were able to together look at um, <coughs> several, several projects that they may like um, in a, a certain area of the city. And uh, what happened is we, 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 we picked one in King Park. It's a, a playground for uh, two to five-year-olds. And if you happen to be in uh, King Park over the 4th of July, one of the goals was to have it in before the 4th. And it looks like it's always been there. It fit perfectly. Um, we went back and forth on what we wanted. So Chris was a part of the, the whole project uh, working with us. And... Uh, uh, he was able to drive by this weekend. He said it was just the whole area was pack of, packed, of course, but um, uh, the kids were on it right away. So uh, I want to um, say thank you to Chris and U.S. Bank for being great community members, coming to us uh, to partner. And it helped us, um, the city, to, to fill a void where, where maybe it would have been a year, two years, five years before we could have put a, a piece of play equipment in like that. We're in the middle of of trying to update what we have. So this was a great um, partnership. And again, thank Chris and Diane. I want to thank Diane. We, we used um, Neighborhood Pride to, as a partnership also to help us facilitate the funds. And so the three of us together uh, did something really good for the community. Thank you both. Chris? Thanks, Joe. Um, uh, like Joe said, he pretty much summed it all up, but we were really proud um, to give back to the community and make um, a significant contribution to make it happen. Um, we couldn't have done it without Joe. He was critical in the whole process. It took a long time and a lot of different um, hoops to jump through on my end, but <clears throat> um, a couple of people I want to thank. Uh, Mayor Vanderseen's support was critical. Um, Chad Pelichek helped me out. Um, Joe was... Uh, was great through the whole thing um, and Sheboygan Neighborhood Pride and Diane um, we couldn't have done it without you um, the, the US Bank Foundation ended up it was a twenty four thousand uh, dollar grant and uh, a couple people at the foundation that um, were very helpful for me 
to get it done, uh, Mike Nichols, a regional president of U.S. Bank, uh, Kim Schmitz, and Melanie Fox. So uh, I have a check, and I, if we could just get a picture maybe, um, or um, have Diane come up and just get a, a picture, and maybe, Diane, if you wanted to say a couple things about Sheboygan Amberwood Pride, that'd be great. But thank you very much. Thank you, Chris. Diane? As president of Sheboygan Neighborhood Pride, it was really my honor to be able to collaborate with the city and with U.S. Bank to do this. And this is exactly what we want to do through Sheboygan Neighborhood Pride in revitalizing and really making the neighborhoods more vibrant um, and having the people take a part in the responsibility for those neighborhoods. So when Chad approached us with this of being the fiscal agent, we said absolutely, we certainly will do this. Um, because like I said, this is our, our, our short and long-term goals for the city of Sheboygan. So if we can do more of these types of things, this is what we're looking for. So thank you very, very much for involving us with this. Is there anyone registered for public forum this evening? Not this evening. Okay. Next, we'll go on to mayor's announcements. First of all, I just want to remind everybody that the 14th Street Bridge will be closed uh, from today on until the early November. Um, there's a few posted routes, but I know most of our locals will find a little shorter route uh, using some roads they're familiar with. Um, last year, we began a process of offering several city college sessions, a uh, refresher for some of the aldermen that have been here, and some good information for our newer aldermen. And we're going to have two sessions this year, and we're planning to hold those on the next two council meetings. Um, one of the things that I've noticed is some of the members have trouble getting here at a time like 515. So what we're going to do is shift the time to the end. So I'm going to try to refrain from having presentations. We'll just have the council meeting and then the, uh, the sessions will be scheduled to start at 630 or immediately following the city council meeting for the next two city council meetings. And the subjects will be open records at one and open meetings at the other. So some good review for us. and. If there are any changes uh, in the state budget, we'll be able to talk about those at the same time. Um, uh, Sheboygan hosted a fantastic 4th of July. I hope all of you had a chance to participate. Uh, but this wouldn't have been possible with the financial support from our sponsors. And I'd just like to recognize Johnsonville Sausage, Festival Foods, Wisconsin Business Bank and Trust, and the John Michael Kohler Arts Center, uh, and all of our city staff that did a great job getting things ready and then cleaning up after the party was over with. So uh, thank you to those sponsors and our city staff for everything they did to make this a fantastic celebration again this year. Okay, we'll go on to a public hearing. Item 2.1 is a, a hearing pursuant to a notice published and the personal notice is sent. There is a hearing scheduled for this evening for the proposed assessments for water lateral replacements in Pennsylvania Avenue from North 5th to North 7th Street. Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to close. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to consent agenda. That'll include items 3.2 through 3.14. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, move to accept and file all reports of officers, accept and adopt all reports of committees, and put all resolutions and ordinances upon their passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Under discussion, Alderman Lassard. Yes. Thank you, Mayor. I would like to pull 3.8 to send back to committee, please. Okay. Just one. Is there a second to the motion second. to refer back to committee? Second. Okay. We have a motion in support under discussion. The one person. 
Just the one, um, 3.8 is just one party. It should just be one, one of the applications from 3.8? That's correct. Yeah, so it would be, give the, the number and the name if you have it. The name would be um, Ty Wagner. Ty Wagner? I don't have a number. Okay, is the second accept that? Yes. Okay, so uh, under 3.8, we're only referring the, the one applicant, Ty Wagner, back to committee. Any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, all those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. So that one item on 3.8 will be referred back to committee. All the other licenses on 3.8 are still included in the original um, consent agenda motion. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, would the clerk please call the roll for passage in the consent agenda. Thirteen eyes. Motion passes. Next, we'll go on to uh, reports of officers. Item four point one in RO uh, amending the Sheboygan zoning ordinance will lie over. Items four point two through four point ten will be referred to various committees. Under resolutions, 5.1 is a resolution by Alderman Bellinger authorizing and advertising for bids for Deland and King Park stormwater improvements. Alderman uh, Bellinger. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I would request that we take 5.1, 5.2, and 5.3 together, if that's okay. Very good. Uh, I would like to suspend, move to suspend. Uh, is there any objection to suspension? Hearing none, please proceed. Um, I would like to uh, make a motion to pass the resolutions. Uh, these are just going out to bid for various projects for the Public Works Department, so there is no expenditure of money here. It's just a request to go out to bid, and uh, they need to get these bids out in a timely fashion and would prefer not to wait the two weeks, hence thank the suspension. Thank you. Thank you for that motion. Is it, and we have a second. Alderman Bourne. Uh, just to, so we know what we're voting on here, 5.1 is a re resolution authorizing those DeLand Park and King Park stormwater improvements. 5.2 is a resolution authorizing advertising for bids for the reconstruction and resurfacing of Pennsylvania Avenue from North 7th to Broughton Drive. And 5.3 is a resolution advertising for bids for the sanitary sewer extension on South Taylor Drive. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none. Uh, will the clerk please call the roll for passage. Thirteen eyes. Motion passes. Item 5.4 is a resolution by um, Alderman Hammond, Koth, Carlson, and Donahue authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2015 budget. That will lie over. Items 5.5 through 5.12 will be referred to various committees. Under reports of committees, item 6.1 is an RC by law and licensing pursuant to RO number 28 of 1415 by the city clerk submitting various license applications and recommends that beverage operators license 0749 be denied based on her record of violations related to the license activity and her record as a repeat law offender and failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderman Lassard. Thank you, Your Honor. I'd like to move to accept and adopt. Second. Second. Is Brooke Adamanovich here? Um, the reason we had turned her down is she was invited twice to come to our committee and failed to show up. So I would like to refer this back to the committee. Is there a second? Second. second. We have a motion and second to re-refer uh, this license. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Under ordinances, Item 7.1, uh, 
um, is a change in the reference to Wisconsin stats. That'll be referred to the Public Protection and Safety Committee. <coughs> And then under matters laid over, item 8.1 is resolution number 34 of 1415 by Alderman Koth, Carlson, and Donahue, authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2015 budget to establish revenue and appropriation for the U.S. Department of EPA for green infrastructure implementation at the land in Kings Park. Alderman Koth. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, would the clerk please call the roll for passage? <clears throat> 13 ayes. Motion passes. Uh, next, we'll go on to other matters. Uh, the attorney. Thank you. Uh, 9.1 uh, is uh, an RO submitting various uh, license applications for the period ending June 30, 2016 and June 30, 2017. That will be referred to law and licensing. 9.2 uh, is an RO from the city clerk submitting a communication from Kenneth Peitzmeyer requesting a waiver from the sex offender residency restrictions in order to live at 3032 South 19th Street. That will be referred to public protection and safety. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to adjourn. Second. Thank you for that motion and second. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We stand adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good meeting.